Now, as regards user control objects, those of you having uh, experience uh, developing user control, you know, it's quite a well-known concept and uh, we've uh, had it in previous versions. User control object is a new way of modeling those controls that is not replacing the previous one, but user controls will continue existing. But user control object um, has several advantages facilitating integration with the modeling of UIX or the native code. I, I attended a presentation yesterday about this thing, and you, uh, please uh, watch it because you're going to have many details about the object, but it allows you to facilitate the way of modeling user control. There are several advantages since it's uh, KB GenXus, it's built in. So um, the, 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 the control modeling maintenance is much easier. For the previous user control, we had the user control editor, as a part of the Genexus suite, allowing you to model the control, but it was a satellite tool. Control wasn't part of that uh, Genexus knowledge. You had to model it from the outside. You had to introduce it in the KAB, um, um, incorporating it. And it was, was, uh, was tedious and boring, and, uh, and you had to be very careful because it could fail. Now, the fact that it's built in, things are m much easier. It's one uh, further object of KB, so if we're working with S uh, CSM, it's going to be far easier. In the previous cases, if we were working with a user control in KB and uh, we did a committal server and the server didn't have that control installed, we were going to get a message like, I don't know this is structure, please go over and see what happens, please install it, and so on. We're going to forget about this problem because... Uh, the, 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 the consolidated scheme in Nexus server is going to work with any other object, so the, the portability is much better. As well as distribution, it's just an XPIX. You export it and you can distribute it. You don't have to zip it, you don't have to keep any versions outside. It's, it's uh, far easier, far more powerful. We have a, a track record. Um, uh, cross references to know who is using the control and who that control references to, so it's far easier to use. On the other hand, it can use the the base style that we talked about uh, that we talked about in a moment, based on the framework that we are going to incorporate in the KB. This use of control also. The, the HTML is going to be generated by the server, so the server has the responsibility of presenting this control in an optimal and fast way. It's much more, it's much easier to scale the server and therefore we delegate the responsibility to the HTML and it's going to be much faster and much more optimal. And for objects that have a very rich interface and use a lot of controls, it really makes a difference. What we see here is a key control that basically shows information of users or clients or whatever in a much nicer way. It shows the photo of the person, name and age, in this case, when she joined the network, and uh, also some bio. What we see here is modeled with these 10 code lines, which are HTML, and are provided by the framework. So we are going to go to the page and look for the control and what we are going to do is copy this HTML code, paste it in the user control structure. And automatically when we use the user control in our web panel or an object that has graphic interface, we are going to see it in the same way. What we see here is that this control has classes that are defined and proper to semantic UI. And these classes are going to be available inside the KB Genexus when we use the base style, which, as you see, is directly related to the user control. The base style can be used in the object team and also, and it allows to reference in the frameworks inside the KB by using the file of the KB. And what we are going to do is as if of that set of files that are provided by the SSS framework or our designers because basically 
the result is the same. It has a series of CCS and some static structures that we are going to use. So here we put uh, the extension, which is uh, the X library. I see that some of you are looking at me, but we're going to see this in a practical manner. So we have GX library and we use it as a file of the KB and Genesis will realize that it has to provide the styles so that with a property it can be used by means of our controls. Here you see the creation of a user control object. My question is the following. Here we make reference to a library that is packaged in the cloud, etc. Now, is the size in the KB growing a lot? I imagine that you build it to run it in a disconnected manner in the KB. Are they disconnected? Yes. Uh, have you have seen CCS works on the basis of name references? When you define the HTML and the class you are using is uh, defined in the CCS, framework, in this case semantics UI, is going to take it automatically, the class, but you are importing to the set of classes of semantic UI, you are importing the whole set. It shouldn't be too heavy, that static file, but it can increase a couple of kilobytes in size. Is it only for the web? Can it be done later on for SD? Yes, but we have other structures that can model a series of things in SD. The initial need was web, not only because the UI modeling, but also because it has a lot of power of scripting and it allows for the integration with many API web. So we intend firstly to develop it for web and then we'll see. But I can't imagine right now a case of SD. We can assess it, but it's a firstly web in order to give power to modeling and scripting for the integration of APIs, and we'll see later how it matures and the needs that may come up. So I was telling you about the creation of a user control. It's a new object of the KB we are doing to do control N and on the right hand side you see the structure I told you about. The anatomy of this new object has two parts, the template and the properties. The template will allow for this native modeling. We say native modeling of uh, IUX in GenXus and this HTML code, if you see, is exactly the same one that we were using in Semantics UI in Sargenex, as it's already in the knowledge base. And we see here data that are statics. We see a route or an image and the name with the data I told you about. And what we see underneath is how it, the user control allows for the dynamism of the data because we want to use data of attributes of our transactions or variables that are defined in the KB, etc. This syntax is, which is called mustache because of the key, which is similar to a mustache, will allow us to have this dynamism in the control data. When we define this syntax, it's automatically we are telling GenXus that it can be a dynamic uh, data that we can dynamize after words in any event, for example, in the web panel. And here, I can follow this route to the image. Here we see several controls inside the toolbox. When we create the user control, the Nexus put C automatically as part of the built-in controls in the toolbox. And here we have several controls and we have the initialization. I told you about the title for the person, the data that we saw in the previous example. And this is the generation of the result in execution. What can we conclude from this user control object? Firstly, the portability. 
because of what I told you about firstly the facility to work with Genexus server because it's built in, it's easy to maintain, it's a one more structure of Genexus. Uh, better load performance because the applications have to respond rapidly because the user tells takes uh, decides in one second whether he wants to continue surfing there or not, and then it's easy to extend and share. Would it be possible to put one of these controls inside a grid, for example? Could we put s several controls in the grid? Yes, you can integrate in a GenXus object or in the user control using an HT. You can define a property as SDT or numeric or stream, or you can include the control inside a grid, or you can iterate inside the same control using an SDT. So you have a cycle, which is iterative. I don't know whether I understood you well. Can it be annexed to JavaScript files? Yes. This is a basic overview of the object, but it has a lot of scripting power. Inside the properties, what Genesis does is to initialize the property that you de define in the template. It puts an entry in the file, defines a type, and in that section you can define scripts. You use the tag script as you usually do, and there you define your JavaScript in order to integrate with some APIs. Can it be used as we used user controls with share? Yes, you could do a reference to share query files or whatever you're using. My question was the same. Will you be able to migrate the controls that I already have? Yes, they can be migrated. The idea is to start at a certain point to convert certain user controls to this new scheme, precisely to facilitate this and has the power and take the power or have the power that the object provides. I have a question with regard to the sketching. Will it be available for the web, the import of sketching? Juan, can you tell us about it? In principle, it's still for SD. Nothing will prevent us from doing it for the web. But for web, we have user controls, and it's not much of a priority. We want to do it, but the first priority is SD. If you have designers, they can uh, do an HTML, if you wish. I would like to ask about the deploy of user control. Let's say that you reference a library, and when we do the deploy of that application, are we going to take that library? Is there any building? Yes, with regard to the references, there are several options. You can have references to things that you have inside your model, static file, for example, a jQuery, or you can use also a CDN, reference to URL, URL to files that are somewhere and that you can reference. In that case, the reference to CDN should not have any addi anything additional in the deploy, but if you use static art files in your model, yes. But how does Genexus find out or know? Well, the deploy engine... We are working on the deploy engine so that it calculates the references and take those dependencies as in the case of the deploy to Tomcat that we do when we prototype locally. The idea is to also take the base library and the dependencies the control has. <laughs> 